you talk about crafting your destiny. And in the term crafting, we have some sort of intent uh, of control, maybe. How do you uh, guide people to craft uh, through this creativity or expression uh, their own destiny, their own individual uh, perception of destiny? See, when we say destiny, there are many ways to look at it. When people say destiny right now, well, you became a rich man, people think that's their destiny. They became successful, they think that's their destiny. They… whatever, they had children, they had families, they had this, this, this. We are misunderstanding the arrangements that we make for our well-being as our destiny. See, you build a big house, you make money, you have a, a wife or husband, or uh, you have children, you have wealth, all these arrangements you made, in pursuit of your well-being, isn't it? Yeah. So essentially your destiny is in your well-being, how well are you? When I say how well are you, see in body, if you feel uh, very well in your body, then we say you are healthy. If you feel very pleasant and well in your body, this is health. If you feel very, very pleasant, then we say this is pleasure. If it… if your mind feels well, then we say this is peace. If it feels… if it feels very well, then we say this is joy. If your emotions feel well, we say, oh, love, it's love. If it feels very, very well, when… then we say this is compassion. If your very life energies feel very well, then we say it's bliss. If it feels super well, we say this is ecstasy. If your surroundings have become really well, then we say this is success. Only for the last part, which is the success part, you need the cooperation of various forces in the world. Success cannot be achieved all by yourself. So, but su what you call as success is just a pleasant arrangement around ourselves. Maybe a certain kind of home, a certain kind of atmosphere, a certain kind of place, certain kind of people, whatever, this is just an arrangement. This is… does it not really wellness, this is just one more platform or one more step towards wellness. But essentially, you being well means you're blissed out right now. Whether you're sitting, uh, you know, whether you're sitting on a very comfortable sofa or you're sitting on a rock, what does it matter? You're blissed out. On a rock, it's fine. What is the problem? There's really no problem. So, we are misunderstanding destiny as arrangement of life. So I'm talking about destiny in terms of your essential wellness within you. If you want to feel well, you can completely craft it the way you want it. Because what happens within you, you can have it hundred percent your way. What happens around you will never happen hundred percent your way. Little bit your way, little bit my way, this is the nature of the world, all right? It can never be hundred percent my way or your way when it comes to the situation. But what's happening within me must be hundred percent the way I want it. If you are happening hundred percent the way you want it, your body, your mind, your emotion, your energies were happening the way you want, would you not keep yourself always blissed out? Wow. See, look at my eyes, I am always stoned, never touched a substance, but all the time so stoned because I keep my chemistry the way I want it. No outside chemicals. This is the greatest chemical factory. If you manage this well, 